Sekiwake Meisei's work rate stood out on the third day of October Interstable as he fought 22 bouts against close rivals Takayasu, Kiribayama, Onosho, and I believe Miyogiryu, winning 15 times before charging into Takayasu for five whole minutes. Takayasu's a heavy one, so I felt a bit rickety against him, he said afterwards, adding the session served as a chance to build his focus. Asked about the retired Hakuho, inevitably, he replied, I'd watched him on TV as a kid, so it was great I could rise high enough to actually fight him. The fact that neither I nor anyone else could get over the wall he represented shows not only his greatness, but I think the inadequacies of our wrestling generation as a whole. But we now have the chance to liven up sumo ourselves and inspire, and I'll be training hard to make sure I'm aiming for better things. Eleven salaried men were present today, but Meisei's stablemate Akua was not. He has in fact scaled back his training over the past week after a recurrence of back pain. Akua has, however, been comforted on his cycle rides around Asakusa by the increasing number of people who seem to recognize him. An interesting fact is that since his debut in 2010, he has never posted a losing score in November. It's an auspicious tournament for me, and the most fun to compete in, he said. The only problem is that our camp down in Kyushu is so far out that no one delivers there, so I'll have to buy some takeaways, I reckon. Recent Technique Prize winner Miyogiryu was also making his first October appearance today, contesting 11 bouts. There were some high-ranked guys among my opponents, so it was more a question of quality over quantity, the 35-year-old said. I think there's a real appetite for success in these sessions, just like when we used to go out to other wrestlers' stables. He and colleague Sadano Umi joined into stable for the first time in August, then both posted their best scores in years in September. I think that's the main reason they're back. Elsewhere, Shodai fought 10 bouts at his stable today, ahead of his first tournament in his native Kyushu as an Ozeki. The focus will be on me more than usual, he said, a week ahead of his 30th birthday, and I have to do better in the closing bouts. Yes, they are against the strongest opponents, but I shouldn't be losing my final four as I did in September. I have to be challenging for the title. Today, October 27th, also saw five new sumo recruits pass their initial medical. Among them, ex-university star Ibuki Suguro, who's quit his job to turn pro, and ex-Hakuho Cup starlet Gantorga Bilgun. Another Hakuho Cup performer, Azhara from the Chinese Autonomous Region of Inner Mongolia, is also through after spending three years at Hiryu High School, which has produced Midori Fuji and Atami Fuji, of course, and the past three years as a trainee at Arashio Stable, managed by Chinese born Sokokudai. We wish them all well. Finally, outside the ring, cash strapped Sumo has stepped up its marketing to a younger audience by entering a partnership with the creators of Pokemon. The Little Pocket Monsters, this year celebrating their 25th birthday, will be present at both the upcoming November and January tournaments. The Sumo Association has also released a children-focused Sumo exercise DVD starring Tobizaru, who said, perhaps in jest, that his dream is to one day open a Tobizaru creche.